Thank you for tuning into the Bloody Truth Inside Games. I am Blood Spirits, and uh, I want to first start this thing off by giving my condolences to the Ukraine people. Uh, wish you well, be safe, hope everything comes out. We have a upland support team that works out of the Ukraine. Uh, that they've made the statement that um, nothing is going to slow down. We're going to keep things going, but more importantly to that. Be safe, wish you well, hope everything works out for you people. Um, my heart goes out to you, and uh, I think my whole entire community goes out to you. So take care of yourself, be safe, and uh, let's hope for the best on that. With that being said, I have constantly been hit up about how to make money on the Upland game. And I'm going to show you uh, the three step-by-step -step things that you could do to make money. Not 100% foolproof. I am not a financial advisor. I do not know anybody from this game. Got to put the disclaimers out there. This is just what I do and how I would handle making some money in the Upland game. So the first thing that you want to do is find your area that you want to be in. And uh, I, I decided to show you this because I could use some land right here in uh, Fresno. I have a decent treasure map here. So, and I actually am in Fresno right now as my character. I have no idea. So get to your area, click on find a property. There's one for 10 bucks right there on Daytona Avenue. Okay, that's that's probably my weakest spot in Fresno is right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna purchase this piece of land. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to invest. I mean, it, it is absolutely one of the things you're going to have to do. Imagine if this was the stock market. You're going to have to put some money in stock to be able to make some money. I, I run into a lot of people that are saying, hey, I want to make money in this game. I want to make money here and there. And they haven't even left the guest status. And the only way that you could possibly not leave the guest status is to not put a dime in this business. It, 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 it's in, I, I, I'm going to tell you, my personal opinion, it is going to be a struggle for you if that's how you're going to treat this game. Um, you're not going to make, I mean, if you do make money, it's going to be a long haul. And it, it, to be honest with you, if your goal is to make money in this game, you ain't going to do very well. You're not going to be happy with it. You might be able to make five bucks a month at the most. And that's after you've grinded and grinded for years. So you're going to have to invest. I'm going to buy this piece of land right here to show you. Um, this is going to be $9.90. Let me show you everything that goes with this. I'm actually going to pay $10.39 for this property. I'll block all this stuff out. Go in here and purchase this. It's going to do all my Tilla thing. I'm just going to ask for my credit card. I'm going to put my Visa credit card. I'm going to use this method right here. And I'm going to purchase this piece of property. Now, the next step that you're going to want to do after you purchase the property is you're going to want to turn around and you're going to want to put it back on the market. Now, the problem with that is it has to go through the whole entire blockchain process right before you can put it on the market. And in order to sell it for cash, you got to wait a certain period uh, based upon where your skill level is at. So we'll get out of that. We'll go up here. Actually, that was about perfect right in the middle. I didn't even really do the research on that. Nice. So that's almost exactly where I wanted a piece of property. Um, and I just got lucky that there was one for sale right there and, and for a very inexpensive price. So once this gets put on the blockchain you'll notice that I'm not able to purchase anything yet once it gets put on the blockchain then I'll be able to sell it based upon my skill level that's another thing is you're gonna want to be able to make sure see I am a director status got it uh, so at this particular point I think I have to hold on to the property for a week before I can put it up for sale but once I put it up for sale let me go to another property here and show you um, do I have any properties fairly close together? There's one. Fairly close together. So once I've waited my time period by being a director or whatnot, I could then put my property up for sale. So this will sell almost immediately because I've held on to it long enough. I purchased four dollars and and uh, fifty cents real life cash. Right now, if I were to sell it for dollars right now, click on the dollar amount and I put it up for nine bucks, it'll pretty much sell almost immediately. 
So the other process is you're going to have patience, just like Jason Time said inside our uh, Fighting Spirit podcast, which is up right now. You can go to the Fighting Spirit with Blood Spirit and listen to that podcast. Jason gives some awesome information about Upland as well as some awesome information about life in general. But if you, if I were to put this for sale right now, which I don't want to do, for nine bucks, that's would sell immediately right and it's only been a few months since i've had this so that that is a good way to where you can make some extra capital i'll go back to my property right here okay so here we are back at the daytona property had to do a little bit of cutting right so if i were to go to sell this at my level for the dollars right it will say that i have to hold on to it for six days and 23 hours more before i can sell this for usd so in order to be able to sell this for cash, I'm going to have to wait some time to be able to do that. So keep your property ideas. So this is what I would do in that six days. What you're going to do is you're going to be able to go in here and you're going to see what you paid for that property. It's going to minus your fees. And I double that, right? So I'd put this property up for 20 bucks and eventually over time it's going to sell. And then I would double my money and then I'd be able to reinvest reinvest that original $10 that I put in minus fees. So I, I'd put it for like 21 bucks just to be able to cover my fees and all that stuff that goes to Upland to keep this game going. Um, it goes to all of our community things that it does, pays for like the events and stuff like that. So um, that 5%, I, I do think at times it's a little high. For properties, I get it. For the the sell of stuff, it all goes into this community pool that that pays out people and does treasure hunts and all the little events that they do comes out of that pool supposedly. And um, so, but I do think that some of the other events like transferring upics and stuff like that, it could be a little bit lower. We don't need to keep adding to that pool. The sales of properties add enough to it, in my opinion. But if they're going to open up more more and better stuff, then okay, I guess I'm for it. It really, I don't have any control of this. I have, uh, my say means absolutely nothing. But that is the, the steps that you could do to be able to make money in this game. Now, keep in mind, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're not going to be able to go in there and, and double your money all the time. It may work. It may not work uh, out perfectly there has been times where i put property up for sale for 60 bucks and two weeks is sold and i bought it for 20 and then there are times that i you know bought in property for for 10 bucks and then put it up for sale for 12 bucks and it's still waiting to be sold so it, it, there is no guarantee it's just based upon uh everything like everything in life how bad a player wants that property and what are they willing to pay for it but anyways that is how you make money in this game real live money real live cash my best recommendation i'm not going to start really focus on selling properties until i get up to the executive level so i've got a ways to go um and then you can do some flipping i'll do some deep diving on flipping properties here real soon I will let you know that if you're a brand new player in this game and you have not made your first purchase yet, you can get 50% more Upix on your first purchase. But I personally, if you were my brother, my sister, and if you're part of my Discord family, I'm going to recommend this. If I were to give you that advice, I would say before getting deep into this game figure it out and then make your purchase before the detroit opening because a brand new player before the detroit opening i've heard rumors that's gonna be heavily fsa properties and if you could find yourself a, a whale that is going to take you under their wing and they will give you double the price typically for an fsa property so get into the game make it happen and uh, take advantage of that you, you could really really make a killing in detroit my name is blood spirit this is the bloody truth